What is going on YouTube? It's me, Andy the Kid, and um, welcome to this video. This video is going to be a software review on um, CPU Z, and it's going to be on how to um, monitor your CPU settings with CPU Z. Um, I'm going to do a, um, what you call it, a thorough review of this app. So I'll have the link to download in the description. It's called um, CPU Z by CPU ID. And um, yeah, once you open it up, you get to this user interface right here. And um, you're gonna have um, how many tabs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven tabs: CPU, caches, mainboard, memory, SPD, graphics, and about. So let's start off with the first tab. And um, right here, it's just the probably can tell you the processor name. So I have AMD Phenom X4955, and you can see the code name, how much uh, wattage it uses socket type and um, everything else and if you go down here um, where it says clocks and this say core zero depending on how many cores you have um, it tells you your clock speed and uh, my clock speed is at 3.979.7 megahertz which is 3.9 gigahertz um, it tells you the multiplier um, the bus speed and the hyper transport link um, this would be different if you are running an Intel CPU because um, Intel doesn't have a hyper transport link. I don't think so. Yeah, it doesn't. Um, it might, might not. I don't know. I don't have an Intel CPU, but yeah, and it gives you the icon. You click on it, and it'll take you to um, the website for the ranks. Um, so yeah, uh, what else? Oh, caches. This tells you how much cache you have in your um, CPU from like level one cache, level two, and level three. I think level three cache is shared with your. Um, I think it's either your memory, your RAM, or your hard drive. I'm not sure. I think it's most likely RAM. Um, level one and two are the um, amount of cache or that is stored on your CPU chip itself. Um, it tells you the motherboard you have, so let's say I have the MSI 990FXAG65 motherboard. It tells you the chipset uh, right there, 990 chipset, but I don't know why I'm getting that. It tells you the South Bridge chipset that you have and um, the BIOS version, the brand of the BIOS, basic input output system. Uh, you can go to memory and it tells you how much memory you have and the type. So I have 8 gigs DDR3, dual channel, unengaged, and um, tells you the frequency that the North Bridge is running at. And it shows you the current um, frequency for your RAM and a whole bunch of other cool stuff if you want to get into that. Uh, you can go to SPD and then you can select each RAM. I don't have anything in slot number one. I do have it in slot number two, and it tells you uh, the information about each uh, memory module that you have in your computer. So, right here, I have a Corsair um, PC3. All the information is there. It's pretty cool. Let's go next. Now, this part, um, for me, for some weird reason, uh, all it, it doesn't give me that much information and I'll go we'll give you uh I'll make another software review on how to monitor your um your graphics settings uh using Windows 8 so that that tab you can ignore. Now you can go here to the about tab and uh it gives you all the information about CPU Z or CPU Z and then you can click here to validate it enter your info and then submit it to their online website so it's a sort of like it adds your computer information or your hardware specs to their servers and then other people can view it and compare theirs with yours so yeah it's currently at version 1.630 0 at 32 bit I didn't download the 64 bit version even though you can but um, yeah that has been it for this review. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, 
comment and subscribe if it helped you later guys